I feel like utterly hopeless. This is not our wheelhouse. It is a holiday miracle. We're back. <laughs> Great start. We are back for another gingerbread showdown. How does everyone feel? Last year was relatively smooth. We kind of came in with not really a plan. We were really trying to avoid a sophomore slump. So we're aiming for fun. Our theme this year is, is edible. Seth, what are you doing in that convection oven? Seth claims this year is less ambitious, but <laughs> I think it's more ambitious <laughs> than last year in terms of just the amount of techniques that we're showcasing. Um, we're doing an undersea Christmas, so we're basically making an aquarium Christmas themed. There's going to be a lost Atlantis-esque aqueduct and tower. There's going to be a shipwreck. There's going to be a giant squid battling Santa. We're just trying to use as many techniques pastry-wise that we can and make it delicious. I told Seth that like usually we like work really slowly at the beginning and then we're like rushing at the end. And so we just need to like work with some level of haste the entire day. Yeah, we've got all of our doughs proofed. We've got our puff pastry and croissant laminated. We've got some curds that we're gonna fill our pastries with all ready to go. This is not stretching. Well, you know, just put some muscle into it. <laughs> <laughs> So I was gonna just like go for it and try and make a gingerbread house from my mind. And then I had a nightmare that like nothing happened today. So I got this template. This template is by Stella Parks. You can find it on SeriousEats.com. You too can make this house. And we're just gonna decorate it to make it look like a Shakey's. You should, you should let the world know what Shakey's is because I had no idea what Shakey's was before going to Los Angeles. <laughs> Shakey's is where we went to after school to eat some mojo potatoes. Their combo meals, you get a personal pizza, you get two pieces of chicken, and you get mojo potatoes. That's just like their standard combo meal. Because you so need all of that. This is not sponsored by Shakey's. <laughs> so Stella is super accurate. She has extremely accurate recipes, and yeah. she says this is a two-day recipe. So our challenge today is turn this Stella two-day two recipe into an eight-hour recipe. And then we're gonna have fried chicken pizza and mojo potatoes. Yeah, I don't know if this is a bad idea, but... We're gonna find out in I eight mean, hours. That's why there's the fried chicken we can pull off. That's gonna happen. We'll have fried chicken, mojo, potatoes, and pizza. So that's Shakey's. That's Shakey's, baby. Yeah. We're not good at building things, you know? This feels like a really difficult Ikea furniture. Like Lego. Yeah, so we, we thought we needed some kind of plan. Because we are, we're no architects. I didn't want to deal with the stress of doing this out of Rice Krispie Treats. So this will, this is, this is our starting structure. So the idea is that there's a shipwreck in the middle and then a school of fish swimming around it. We're making basically like a few big towers, sort of like aqueduct type things. Like, you know, our inspiration was the big towers in Little Mermaid. So these pretzels are going to be the pillars. I'm worried that's gonna, these pretzels are gonna take up a lot of my time because I have to make a lye solution, I have to dip them in the lye solution. I don't think it'll be that bad. It's also like you have to interpret everything through the lens of Seth when he says it's not that bad, it's not that hard. It means it doesn't take multiple days to make. <laughs> <laughs> I'm reminded every year when we do this that like I have no patience for baking. Absolutely no patience for baking. I just want to like shove things into a pan. This is taking longer than I thought, but it's okay. How many do we need? Did you say 10? Total, I'd love um, like 20 to 30. What? This is waffle cone mix. And for the curved elements, I'm gonna, I don't have a waffle tray big enough, so I'm gonna bake it really high and then take it off and mold it from there. Um, I'm already really stressed. <laughs> you know, I just don't want to let Seth down. <laughs> I hear my name and stress in the same sentence. I don't know what's going on here. I just want to do everything that he is dreaming of for this house. A lot of nerves, a lot to do. But I uh, learned a lot of lessons last year. I feel like we're gonna focus on making it taste good this time. 
So my goal is to have the house built by noon. I think that might be ambitious, right? Because I want to have as much time as possible to decorate. You know, get to the good part. We didn't really go in with a plan last time, but we were very comfortable with everything we were doing last time, even though we'd never really put it together in the way that we did. Today, we're kind of flying blind. Both of them look slightly different, no? Slightly different. I must have measured something wrong. You stressed? A little bit. Yeah, me too. We'll be fine. I had a nightmare yesterday that we had no house, so I'm just trying to make a house. You know? How's this looking? Good. The one thing we will definitely have is good fried chicken. So hopefully that mends all wounds. It's thinner than I was expecting, but hopefully it's sturdy. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. It'll be fine, It'll be right? Fine. It'll be fine. 45 minutes. Wait, 45? 45 minutes. It took us a really long time to roll out one sheet of gingerbread. Should we make another batch just? In case? I think we should, right? Yes, let's do it. I'm trying to bake off our um, waffle cone mix. Oh, okay. It does smell very waffly. It's kind of the bad pancake theory, you know? Yeah. I love that I taught you bad pancake theory. Oh my God. You did not invent I bad pancake I taught, theory. I taught it to oh, you. It didn't work out at all. There's this theory I taught Seth that like, you know, the first pancake is always, you know, it's like the first pancake never turns out great. And this is also true of, you know, of dating that, you know, you go on some dates and maybe the first one isn't good, but you needed to go on the first date to find the second person. What was y'all's first date? We went to Uncle Boone's and had Thai food. And then I remember I was talking to Seth about like baking, because I was like, ooh, I like sweets, I work in food. And I was like, oh, have you heard of this book? It's really good. And Seth was like, Yes, I actually own that book, but I find the oven temperatures really don't account for a home kitchen. That clearly was tested in a commercial kitchen with a commercial oven. And I was like, oh, like, do you like bake? <laughs> I had no idea. But then it, then, it was, then it was a really cute date, right? Oh yeah, I was, I was smitten, I have to say. I wonder what Ham and Sola's first date was. You should ask them that. It was first romantic. Date. Cemetery and pizza. We were in culinary school. Yeah. And then we took the train to Defaro's, but we got off at the wrong stop. So we walked through a cemetery. Mm -hmm. And that's when we knew. That's when we knew. Because like not a lot of people are going to have fun walking through a cemetery. But we did. They, did they like happen to walk through it or they were like, let's meet at the cemetery? <laughs> <laughs> I bet it was the latter. <laughs> I'm going to work on some cutting out. Let's see how many we can fit. It's a, a little intimidating. Whoa, here we go, we're cutting. It's not stopping now. This is fun. Some of the house is gonna have like a brick pattern that we're just adding before baking. Whoa. That's a ship. We're doing a shipwreck. Don't spend too much time, I mean, obviously you have to spend time on this, but just like, you know, be mindful of the clock. Uh, the waffle cone has been challenging getting it to bake properly because we can't waffle it in an iron. That's supposed to be a waffle cone? So it's not baking evenly, so I think we just need to weight it down a little bit. I don't know. It's hard to get it flat enough, so that's been tough. <sighs> so distracted. That one's salvageable. Yeah, that one's okay. Don't have time for scissors. It's stuck to the mold, so we're, there's some finessing to do, but I'm gonna cover it in plastic wrap and we'll be okay. Because that will unstick from the sugar, right? I'm just making cake batter. These are gonna be like pumpkin spice cake turrets. Seth, does this texture seem right to you? No. Uh, did you add enough oil? Yeah. Did you add the pumpkin? You did not add the pumpkin. It's okay. It's very close. We're moments away, Ham. I don't know why this one's flat, but the other ones aren't coming out as flat. Oh God, it's getting crunchy. Oh, you gotta move oh, so fast. You have to go fast. Come cut with me. I don't think we can be too precious. We just gotta cut. 
Maybe we should take it out a little earlier. When it's and softer. Then cut it and put it back in. Yeah. This is very Squid Game, isn't it? Oh God, we lost that. That's gone. This is coming out a lot cleaner. So, what pieces am I remaking? I don't know, man. We lost a lot of good pieces over here. I thought that we would have the house built by noon, and it's almost one, and we're still baking the final pieces. So I'm a little bit behind. So I was gonna make like marshmallows and maybe some macaroons. We're just gonna focus on getting the house done and making the fried chicken. You know, keep it simple. I can't like, I can't like make icing until the cookies are done because it's too stressful. It is very, very squid game. But you don't die, you just get embarrassed at the end. You just get shamed by the internet. This siding feels better, right? It looks, it looks amazing. The first layer was garbage, let's be honest. Right, YouTube? <laughs> Come on, YouTube. Aww. You're on my side. Well, all right, so interesting. They're like roughly the right size, but coming out looking very different. Oh my <laughs> goodness. I, you know, actually, Seth, I think, I think this could work. And given that we have uh, no other choice, I feel like this will be great. Should we not boil them? Do we just bake them? A egg wash them instead? I'd be okay with that. Okay, let's do that. Let's just egg wash them. Oh, wow. Those are very different. You know, the pretzels aren't perfect, but we'll figure it out. I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling okay. I'm making jello. <laughs> We're making um, jellyfish out of actual jello, like je jelly jello fish. And so we're using mini bunt tins for the heads, and then we're gonna use like fruit roll up to make little tentacles. <coughs> Ooh, this is gonna be a, uh, this is gonna be where the ship burned. I am making royal icing, and then we decorate. I thought we'd have the house built by noon. That was stupid. It, in my mind, it was not this many pieces. It's a lot more pieces than I thought. We're significantly behind schedule, but I think we're, I think we're gonna make it. Uh, this is gonna be a pizza focaccia. We mix it yesterday, let it rest overnight, and then we're just gonna pop it out on a sheet tray, bake it off once so that it's all nice and crusty, then we're gonna top it and we're good to go. In the world of pizzas, focaccia pizza ranks lowest, but this is a good focaccia pizza. Yeah, so when we break for lunch, I'm gonna need to head out and check on our very, very emotionally unstable dog, Vito. Once they start to form a light crust on them, I'm gonna pull them out, stick them in the freezer again to keep drying that out, and I'm gonna toss these in a little bit of potato starch, and they're gonna be super nice and crispy, and then we're gonna do one final fry at a higher temp, then we're gonna toss them in our Mojo seasoning. So I have this neon icing to be the mortar for the bricks. So every wall will be a different neon color, a different Saved by the Bell color. Can you hear the theme song in your head already? I just look at these colors and I can hear the song. It's all right, cause I'm Saved oh, yeah, by the I Bell. Okay. It's gonna work, Priya. Oh, <gasps> it looks so good. So we're just gonna use the rest of the waffle cones to, to decorate the tower spires, but we have the tops done. Um, and then for our little aqueduct, we have our columns done. Um, ship is done. Now hopefully we can get that assembled and start to do like the decoration and the fun stuff. I sincerely hope this is the last batch of waffle I have to make. I am melting isomalt and making coral. This is kind of an experiment. Oh, actually, this part really does look like coral. I mean, this one's gonna be green. So it's like vaguely Christmassy. Let's see, some of these welches, some peach rings, huh? Window. It's an off brand Twizzler. I got these from Priya's side for some rectangular windows. Not bad, not bad, huh? Okay, we just need uh, several more. 
It's okay, we got four hours. It feels very much like Hansel and Gretel, a place to steal children. You've returned. It's still not a house, but we have some windows. Okay, roofs. Smush on some white icing for glue, and then homemade sprinkles. They're flavored with rose, and then we pipe them one at a time. And we just always like to have some around. So I think they're gonna make a nice like roof decor. It's just a gingerbread house and we are gonna eat fried chicken. And we're gonna eat fried chicken and pizza. No one said we had to have a theme. What is 6B? I don't even know what these parts are. I'm just decorating them, you know? We'll, we'll make it happen. 1A, 2A. 1A, 2A. Which one's 1A? 1A. All right, let's see how this goes. Yeah. Damn, it's begun. It's begun? It's begun. Assembly has begun. There's no more Stalin. God, I don't know. I'm just like following that list of things to do. I gotta make our base layer, like our pebbles. I have to make a big batch of royal icing. I, gotta, I think I have to make some cookies. Oh God, and I have to start sculpting reindeers and Santa out of nougat and caramel. So I've got, yeah, I've got a reasonable amount of work left ahead of me. So I'm looking up Rudolph in that claymation. That's kind of what I'm going for, like this. I don't know if I have the artistic skills to pull this off, but we'll see. And this is really hard too. Let me, let me look at the nougat. This is kind of hard. Oh, this I can work with. So this is like the head. Do we, we don't have any toothpicks, do we, Seth? I'm starting to think that stencils are maybe the way to go. That seems smart. I don't feel like I'm behind, but I definitely am worried that like a lot of the things I have in motion aren't ultimately going to work out. I'm just going for like, if it vaguely looks like a reindeer, you know? Yeah, these antlers are like impossible. Hey, that like could be a reindeer. I don't know how I'm gonna, how do I unearth it? It's like the hardest possible substance. Should I just pivot to cookies? Like, you want to? I can do better next time. Okay, I'm gonna make a, a hollow squid. So I'm worried that the head of the squid is gonna bake at a different rate as the legs, because they're so skinny. So I'm gonna put them in different trays. That's pastry cream. This I made earlier, it's a ses uh, black sesame caramel. So I'm gonna mix those together and maybe cut in some whipped cream. And we can fill the squid with that. So I have royal icing that I'm putting down here and I'm gonna put jelly beans, which will function as kind of like the pebbles, like the rocks on the bottom of a fish tank. We're gonna make some clams with uh, guava and cream cheese filling. One half of this will be palmiers. This is gonna be like um, pativier, like a turnover. This is croissant dough, so we're gonna make little snails. Three hours. There's like a terrace or something. Whoa. Hold on. <laughs> I, I've got a lot more pieces to put on here. I thought this would be easy. I'm five hours behind my own schedule. One B followed by two C. Oh, you won't even get to see this. It's on the inside. <laughs> it's on the inside. It's falling apart. It tastes really good though. I am so stressed. Like. My mood has taken a turn. How are we gonna make these reindeers? How are we gonna make Santa? I'm just, I'm a little nervous. Maybe my backup will just be to make a snowman out of the nougat. It's slowly becoming a home. You know what, this is fun. I was really scared this morning, but uh, this is fun. I regret nothing. Sprinkle roof is fun. So I just made my mojo seasoning. Brown sugar salt, a little MSG, onion powder, garlic powder for kind of barbecue type things. And we're using a proprietary blend by Sola and Ham. Pizza party. So these are drums and thighs that we dry brined in a blend of salt, sugar, nor. And we're gonna, pre we're gonna, we're gonna dredge this Popeye style, which means like a lot of craggly bits on the outside. <sighs> we're doing a snowman. <laughs> Cause a snowman felt doable. You know? Yeah, I don't know what's happening, but it just like, 
I think this is just how nougat works. <laughs> it's just like a squat snowman. <laughs> Literally <laughs> with every second. Oh gee, is it the sun? Can we like draw the blinds or something? Wait, he looks so cute. <laughs> It's so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm freezing the snowman because otherwise I'm worried he's gonna like melt, actually melt down into a puddle. <laughs> oh god, you're dripping. You're dripping more than I'd like. You think it'll just stop? Why are you doing this, Roof? Maybe I'm just gonna stand here and hold it. It was all going too smooth. We're gonna hide our flaws with candy canes. Worked for Willy Wonka. He hit all of his flaws with candy. Okay, Shirley. This is, you're gonna save this roof and save Christmas. I've never been happier. Can you hold this for 15 minutes? Yeah. <laughs> it's like yoga, but. Mindfulness. Just pretend you're dead. Okay, so now I am making sugar cookies that in the shape of reindeers. Chill two hours. Just freeze it. Freeze okay. it for 15 minutes. <laughs> that ain't happening. So I'm basically making palmiers, but it's for the bottom of Santa's sled and for uh, seahorses. I think we should clear space in the fridge and then try to freeze it so the icing doesn't keep melting. Let's do it. I think it's our only shot, right? <laughs> the teamwork. Makes the dream work. Watch out for stools. Stools. We're so in sync, Justin Timberlake would be jealous. Yeah. Oh, God, oh, oh my God. This is my nightmare. Coming true. You know what we gotta do? Stick a quart container inside. Yeah. To keep this, no, it won't fit. Oh, God. Finger it's finger it's to the rescue. Oh, the other wall's collapsing. I need to put stuff in here to support this wall. It's gonna be fine. Everybody relax. Relax, Shirley. I'm so <laughs> oh, it's filled with it's filled with Medela. Uh huh. So this is made with powdered sugar, and um, I won't name any names, but this one was made with regular sugar. It was ten minutes before our lunch. I was just like. It. I just need this to literally be an, ad an adhesive. This is a family show. Oh. <laughs> Screw it. <laughs> I'm rolling out sugar cookie dough. And then we're gonna cut some shapes and hope for the best. I don't even know what that is a timer for. I'm just gonna pretend that I didn't hear that. I'm like managing my own expectations now. Like I started out really optimistic and then I was like, yeah, we can totally still do it. Then I like had hit a really low point with the nougat. And now I'm like, we, we will have something to show for ourselves. <laughs> this is like, you don't have cookie cutters. So what do you do? Stab it around with a knife. Okay. It's not perfect, but like, it's something. Seth, I have one good reindeer. <laughs> okay, then that's all we're gonna have. This is reindeer number two which I think could maybe be salvageable. Wait, reindeer just... number one is perfect. Reindeer number one turned out great. Well, I guess I'm gonna bake these <laughs> two cookies. <laughs> Remember the first time I made this and I was sifting it? I'm not doing that now. It's gonna be fine. I think Sola figured out a way. Sola and Modelo have combined forces to, to keep the house alive. This is like my nightmare. Are there any more beers? Yeah. Do you need more? Yeah. Um, other than that, we're just plugging along with the rest of the uh, components. Pretty good place with the pizza, really good place with the fried chicken. We're going to start doing that soon, and we're going to start frying our potatoes soon as well. So I think hour and a half, we'll be there. I really can't wait to destroy this house after. <laughs> How do I... Okay, there we go. Does it turn? That's the whole idea. But like, how much does it turn? Oh my God. It turns 360 degrees. I thought it only turned like this way. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going. Stop. Oh my God. That's the entire conceit. Well, you weren't turning it when I was struggling before, so I was like, it must not be able to turn all the way. Guys, the roof is on. 
Roof is on. Ooh, we did it. I think the modelos actually really help because the whole house is really cold. It's like ice packs. Okay, let me melt some marshmallows. You know, it can be lumpy. It's uh, dirty snow. I wasted a ton of time at the beginning on the structure, and now I'm just trying to catch up. A little burning with the snails, but <laughs> we'll get there. I'm making like a moss, moss sauce. I don't even know. I'm just doing what Seth told moss me to do. Moss sauce. Moss sauce. Squid ink's going in. Got a tiny more. Uh, well, maybe it's okay. <laughs> I'm working as fast as I can. <laughs> Oh my god, I just found royal icing behind my ear. <laughs> this has really been more of a roller coaster of emotion than I thought it would be. Oh, we, maybe we can put the snowman in the sled. Ham my hand. Come on, octopus. Yeah, there you go. That'll do it. Man, I can't wait to eat a mojo potato. It's gonna be so good with caviar. Squids. <gasps> okay, okay, okay. We got two. <gasps> it's like birthing. Oh, they're very delicate. Oh no, oh no, they're like alien creatures. Uh... They're so delicate. <sighs> What's going on here? Some last minute spun sugar. Do the other, do the other. Five, four, three, two, one. We did it! <laughs> it's far more successful than I was thinking it would be. Yeah, seriously. Oh my god. Wow. Welcome to Shakey's. <laughs> There's pizza and fried chicken and mojo potatoes. Wow. Oh my, and caviar. You know, I was craving mojo potatoes and I'm really disappointed that no one here seems to know what Shakey's is. But <laughs> it's one of the greatest places. Wait, is this, is this supposed to be bruleeing this part of the house? Is that okay? Uh, no, I think it's fine. It'll be fine. Yeah. I think the main event here is the spread. So I'm gonna eat some caviar. This pizza is so good. It has Jimmy Nardello's, my takis. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Mm. Yep, yep. Oh my god, these are so good. You said triple fried? So I can taste all three fries. Excellent. <laughs> we, we, we've done our job. <laughs> we need to roll to a place <laughs> with a plug. Is it the lost city of Atlantis? Okay, our idea was like, Seth wanted to do something under sea, mm -hmm. under the sea, and I was like, I love that like in fit, when you get like a fish tank, you can like build a whole scene in the fish tank, like a sunken ship and like uh, those colorful pebbles. So it was like some combination of like under the sea, uh, an aquarium, and like but make it holiday. Oh wait, so th what's this one? <laughs> that's <laughs> that's Priya? a chocolate nougat snowman that I made. <laughs> I love that the jellyfish have a jiggle to them. That is yeah, like I one of my good. favorite touches of this whole thing. I love it. I'm actually gonna try one of these clams. With the guava cream the clam. cheese. It reminds me of a really good toaster strudel. Mm -hmm. I love all the details. Yeah, the little details really, really make it. Are these underwater reindeer? Like this is great. we really wanted to do something totally different from what we did last year. And I think it was, I thought it was great. What a difference a year makes. We considered recreating the Home Alone house. That was like our other oh, idea. It was, and then we yeah. wanted to do all of the stuff inside. Yeah. Like yes. when you pranks. turned it around, it would be like every prank in Home Alone. That should be really next year. Idea. It should be the four of us yeah. making the Home Alone that's house. Awesome. I think that's awesome. I think that'd be great. And let's put caviar somewhere. <laughs> yeah, we'll And on the inside, it's just filled, filled to the brim with Modelo's. It's like a very strange oh pinata. <laughs>